Hey there, Adam Little from SexyConfidence.com, where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And in this video right now, I'm gonna be talking about how it is that you can let go of someone that you truly love. Keep watching. Now, have you ever felt that the past is just haunting you? You ever feel like you have just like this bag of rocks that you're carrying around with you every single date you go on, this baggage that you can't seem to get rid of? And it makes sense, right? Because if, you know, our relationships, when we're in a relationship, they really morph us into a very different person. And so many times when that relationship ends, it can be really difficult to kind of move on. I mean, you spend so much time with someone and suddenly when it ends, it literally feels like you've been cut in half. Yeah, it doesn't feel very good. But here's the thing, you do have the power to make yourself whole again. It just takes some focus. So here's how you can do it. First thing to keep in mind is realize that change is just a natural part of life. You gotta accept it. Now, I'm definitely not the most religious person you'll meet, but if there were any type of religion that I would listen to and read some of the teachings, it would be from Buddhism. And in Buddhism, there is this word called dukkha, and it basically refers to all of human suffering. And much of that suffering, according to Buddhism, is due to the fact that people are afraid of change. But the problem is, is that change is a constant in our lives. We have happy times, we have sad times, relatives die, relatives die, relationships begin, and then they end, and eventually, sadly, we all die. And the only way to truly embrace happiness at all phases in life is if you embrace change and realize that change is just a constant in our lives. And when you constantly fight it every single step of the way, you will always suffer. So once you realize that change is constant and that nothing will remain the same ever, you can suddenly release yourself from this pressure of trying to control everything. You will have breakups and you gotta accept it. You can't go on life assuming that the life you're living now will continue forever. So the best way you can do this is to live in the present. Next, you need to realize that just because it ended doesn't mean that it was a failure or more importantly, that you are a failure. Now there's only one way to fail in your love life. It's not being a virgin, it's not getting dumped, and no, it's not getting divorced. The only way to fail at love is to give up on finding love. Don't allow yourself to become a failure at love because you've given up. Realize that everything you've done in your life is just leading you up to where you are right now and they've been all incredible learning experiences and now it's time to let go of that past take the learnings from them, and then move forward with the right path and the right strategy. And number three, the most practical part of all of this advice is please remove the reminders of that person from your life. You don't need to see pictures of the dude with his new girlfriend on Facebook. You don't need to analyze every single one of his tweets. And you definitely don't need to wipe your tears with the sweatshirt he left at your house. You need to do you. Realize that your heart is, although it's bruised right now, it's incredibly resilient. You are not what happens to you, you are what you choose to become. You're strong, you're beautiful, you're powerful, but you are only those things if you believe it. So it's time to close that chapter in your life and discover who it is that you really are. And when you're single, that's one of the best times to do that. No, oh yeah, make sure you go out there, have a little fun, because you're single, you deserve it. But let me ask you, which one of these three things are you gonna focus on if you're trying to heal your broken heart right now? Comment right there below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on YouTube, and also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single Thursday. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to head on over to sexyconfidence.com. We'll throw a link right there, where you can get all the, the best dating advice for every single stage of dating relationships and love. So don't forget to head on over there right there. And thank you so much again for watching and I will speak to you next Thursday. Bye-bye.